So, the role of an executive leader. I mean, what is it? Who are we? What are we? Are we the, the, the individual at the front leading the charge? And if we are, then clearly, oh, wrong way. Clearly, we're going to have to exert influence to get people to follow. But as an executive leader working within an organisation, you're just one of many hundreds of other individuals all trying to push you forward, all trying to succeed. So what is it we've got that means and helps us to succeed? In the British Fire Service, we, have, uh, we are um, sort of um, promoted and recruited against what they call core competencies. Um, these personal qualities and attributes are supposed to be in us. And when we go for promotion, we're tested. And two of the 15 that they look at, you know, in terms of our ability to lead, are clearly leadership and our relationship building, influencing and negotiation. So apparently I've been tested and I'm competent. So hey, happy days, I can move away quite merrily. But it doesn't really matter. I think there are several types of, of executive leaders, and it doesn't really matter what style you operate. It's really a matter for you. There is, and I'm sure you've come across them, the individual that wants to run the organization with an iron fist. No, I'm the main man. You'll do it the way I say. I need to know everything that goes on in the organization, and if I don't hear about it, I want to know by it. why. And at the other end of the extreme, you might have the sort of the, the guy that's, or the girl that's into the team building. Let's all get together and let's all see where we're going to go. And I'm not saying either, you know, either style is right or wrong. I think to be an effective leader and to influence people, you need to be somewhere in between. But whatever you're doing in leadership, it's clear.